Hey Tube, check this out. Here's some kind of interesting for you for uh, for all the radio guys. Uh, I picked this thing up at the farmer market, I guess, about two weeks ago, and I uh, haven't really done too much with it at all. But I've been looking at it, and uh, I think I'm going to sell it. But I figure I'd just go over it for you before I get rid of it because uh, you know some of you guys might find these old radios pretty interesting. Uh, I bought I bought because it, it said two meter right across the top there. Anything that says two meter on it, I buy. <laughs> and uh, there you go, it's called the Tiller. Uh, but the other reason I bought it is it had tubes in it. Anything with tubes in it is pretty cool. I like old tube radios. And uh, the cool thing is it works. Uh, you can turn it on here. It powers right up. And uh, just take a little minute to warm up there. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I, uh, I think I'm going to sell it because it's AM. And there's nobody that uses that anymore. There you go. It's warming up now. You can hear it. Uh, and it, it receives everything. It transmits, you know. It, uh, it's a tube radius, so it's, it, it's okay to key up with the, uh, without the antenna for just a real quick like that. Uh, it's got a crystal in it, so it's only one, one, uh, one frequency. Let me take the crystal out here. I think it's, uh, 7.960, maybe. It sounds about right. Let's see. There could be some history in that crystal right there. Texas crystals. Bet they're not in business anymore, but yeah, 7.960. So, either way, uh... It transmits on the one frequency there. Uh, it probably gets multiplied a couple times and comes out somewhere in two meter band. And then uh, you can tune it all the way through. It'll tune anywhere in the two meter band. And then uh, it does a Civil Air Patrol. You see cap there, Civil Air Patrol frequencies. Uh, and it's, it's pretty, pretty simple too. I mean, I think it was a kit because it's a Heath kit. Uh, but in the back here, you just got a uh, couple of different hookups. You got a ground and a meter and your antenna. The antenna is actually a. Uh, an RCA connector, but somebody would probably, if they uh, they were going to try and get this working, they could probably restore it and uh, put a, a modern, like an SA239 or a BNC connector on there. And then there's a uh, just a fuse there and a hookup, some kind of a uh, potentiometer or a uh, variable capacitor or something. There's a date on it, that's kind of interesting, 110, 1964. I don't know if that's when you build it or you replace the fuse or what, but pretty interesting. Got two transformers in here. There's a, big filter capacitor yeah, like, the, like I said the crystal and then uh, got all the tubes and all the tubes work they all laid up so uh, that's a good sign and some, somebody, if they knew what they were doing they really wanted to get this to, to work and be usable you could convert it to FM uh, you could have it re just receive FM or you could probably have a transmit too but I'm not into that I have, I have enough radios I got modern radios and it would be cool to have for somebody, it would be cool to have this if it was your first radio or something you sold it. You wish you still had them. Yeah, I'm, I'm only going to ask 15 bucks for it. I just want to get what I paid for it. Um, but it's pretty neat. So I figured I'd share that with you before I get rid of it. And here's the case here. It's they call it a lunchbox radio. It looks like a lunchbox when you put the case on. You can imagine the radio slides into there. And pretty neat. But uh, that's about it. And I figured I better make a little record of this before I get rid of it. Okie dokie tubes.